Well, obviously, you know, big picture, it's still a difficult time, but, uh, you know, it looked like you guys could at least play with 50% capacity tomorrow. What's your, your reaction to the fact the game isn't going to happen at all? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's frustrating. Um, you know, we're obviously looking forward to playing and with the other game getting canceled and, and us being off for a long time, like we want to play hockey. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, um, you know, we, uh, we have, a, we feel like we have a pretty good thing going right now and, and it just keeps getting delayed, which is frustrating, but um, you know, we can't let this discourage us. We just got to, you know, uh, keep practicing, keep, uh, keep our legs under us and get ready for the road trip. You guys are such creatures of habit and, you know, we know you like to play games and keep playing games. How, how difficult do you think it will be to get sort of hit the, hit the start button again next week, given that you will have been off for 10 days from games anyway? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It is going to be tough. Um, but, I mean, we're not going to give ourselves excuses. And, and you know, we're going to have to go out there and, and do whatever we can to, to win. Um, at the end of the day, that's all that's going to matter. Um, we're playing some really good hockey teams on this road trip, and we got to be ready to go. We'll move to Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. You've uh, been asked these kind of questions a lot now for a year and a half, uh, Bo, is it? make it any easier to roll with the punches because there's been so much upheaval? Um, I think it's just getting more frustrating, to be honest with you. Um, you know, for at least for me anyway, and I'm sure all the guys in the room, it's just just when you think, you know, things are getting back to normal then things like this happen. And, and uh, you know, it is frustrating. Like not only do we have to, you know, worry about winning hockey games and, and, and you know, getting pumped up to play and, but we got to worry about, you know, whether we're going to test positive the next day or if we're going to make it home from a road trip or get left behind or, you know, there's just so many things that we have to, to worry about and instead of just going and playing hockey. And um, again, that part's frustrating, uh, especially with the things that we got going on right now. I think, you know, we're playing good hockey and and uh, the shutdowns have been, um, you know, frustrating for us. But again, you know, we, we can't have any excuses. We can't dwell on it or make excuses for ourselves. We got to go out and play and, uh, and try to win hockey games here. Is there anger in the group? Um, I think more frustration than anything, just, you know, again, like we, we want to play hockey and we want to continue what we have going on here. I like we are feeling good about our game and, and I think this practice time has done us well to, to kind of nail down the, the things that Bruce wants us to do. But, um, at the end of the day, we want to, we want to play games. We'll go to Daniel Wagner, Glacier Media. Um, is it any more frustrating? Like you've had games postponed because the team has positive cases, but now these games are getting postponed while you have enough players to play. Is that a particular frustration when it seems to be primarily a financial decision rather than necessarily a decision for the player's health? I mean, you know, that's not for me to, to answer. I think, you know, obviously we want to make sure everybody's healthy and safe and, and uh, you know, and it's, it's feeling well enough to, to come and play and, and, and not having any long-term effects from, from having COVID, you know, for us, I think it's just, you know, we're just coming to the rink, um, doing our job and, and, and uh, you know, trying to get better every day. It's, it's not up to us, you know, whether we play or not. Um, for us, we just have to be, prepared, be prepared no matter what. You mentioned uh, having this extra practice time to kind of nail down some of the things that Boudreau wants has been beneficial. Has there been a bit of a almost like midseason training camp feel to the practices over the last week? Yeah, you no, know, for I think it has. Um, you know, we had a couple of good skates, and you know, he kind of got our legs on us uh, at the end of a couple of practices, um, which was good. I think um, just trying to get it, keep us in game shape. But I think it's been good to to go over our systems and go over, you know, things that we have to work on still um, and things that he wanted to implement uh, in our game um, that were a little different from before. And uh, I think it's been good for us to, to get those practices in. But um, again, we want to start playing some hockey. Thank you, Bo. And thank you all for joining us. That will conclude today's availability.